themselves as subject matter experts. They have a particular specialty that they focus on, a program, maybe weight loss, something along that line. But my training as a professional certified coach has prepared me to deal with a wide range of issues and clients, professional and personal issues. One of the key tenets of my training that they really focused on was that I as the coach see the person as naturally creative, resourceful, and whole. They're not broken. And they may not be manifesting their wholeness at the moment, doesn't matter. It's essential that I see you as whole because my role is the partner. I walk along with. You identify the best solutions for you. I don't have the answers, you do. I hold the mirror, so to speak, so that you can better see yourself and what's best for you. Whatever the circumstances, work or personal, I hold the space for you to grow. Coaching starts when somebody decides they want some support in realizing some change that they're wanting in their life. Maybe they want more of something, maybe less of something, something different, something new. The thing I love about coaching is being curious. I get to wonder with a client. I listen, I ask questions, I listen some more, I listen for the words, and I also listen for what's not being said. I'm wanting to engage the person to both think and feel in perhaps a new way, but most of all, to see more possibilities for themselves. I've come to realize that all of life informs all of life. The line between personal and professional tends to blur. What may start out as a desire for an increase in career growth may actually also include some changes in personal relationships that have a positive impact on the career growth as well. So what's in your life right now that's wanting your attention?